Okay, we're just about ready for the tip-off here, and I want to thank our sponsors as always. Tonight we're being sponsored by the Hardwick Village Restaurant, open 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. seven days a week, with breakfast served all day. And Willie's Store, 533-2621, right up in Greensboro, open every day from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. So as they take the court, Randolph's size is already intimidating. As they walk out on the court, they've got a big, big size advantage, but Hazen comes in with a lot of speed and a lot of heart, and there's no team that works any harder. So we'll see what happens. Aaron Hill, good to have Cody Davison back, looking good. Isaiah Baker, we got Carter Hill is jumping center, already giving away about four inches or more. Tyler Rivard and Nathan Piangirelli. So here we go, good crowd here tonight. Randolph, oh, knocks it right out of bounds. Hazen's ball, can't take advantage of the tip. So Hazen's gonna get the first shot at it. It's gonna be Rebarred and bounding to Baker. Randolph playing a 2-3 zone with that massive front line. Coach Hill, he's worried about the offensive boards, not the defensive boards so much, but Baker right off the bat with a three ball and it's good. Isaiah Baker kicks it off. Hazen in there, man-to-man, -man, full court. Oh, Davidson almost has it. But here comes Randolph. Wyatt Messier gets it over there to the big guy. That's Fritz Hauser out on top. Levi West picks up his dribble. Back to the foul line. They try to go back door. Underneath, tied up by Baker. That was Wyatt Messier brought the ball down. Uh, excuse me, that was Fritz Hauser brought the ball down. And of course, Baker put his hand on it, tied it up. So Randolph's going to inbound it underneath their basket. Trying to inbound it. They get it in. Oh, they try to go to Hauser. It's almost picked off. And it is picked off. Rebar quickly up to Baker. Carter Hill coming down the wing, couldn't see him. On the corner, Davison drives baseline, puts it up, and off the glass. A good hanging move. I don't know how he used the glass at that angle, but he drew the foul. So Hazen quickly on top, 5 0, and Cody Davison's going to the line to try to finish the play. Just underway here, the Dave Morse Classic. Hazen right out of the gate strong, short on the shot, the rebound by Rebard, he drives, fakes, puts it up, and it's good, Tyler Rebard, freshman, putting it right in there. Hazen with a press, they got him trapped in the corner. That's Cole Jakes, but he gets it up quickly. Levi West drives, shut off there by Pierre Andrelli. Back out on top to Jakes. Jakes brings it to the key, looking to set it up. Looking to go underneath inside, but they get it out on top to Chris Jacobs. He does go underneath. Whoa, that was uh, Cole Jakes. Bad shot, but uh, got the rebound, put it back in. So Randolph's on the board, 7-2. Cody Davison on the right wing. Baker fakes right, goes left down the lane, underneath. Carter Hill back out to Davison, way cross court to Baker, out on top. Gets it over to Pierre and Jelly, brings it to the right. Oh, bounce pass inside to Rivard, back outside. Better watch for three seconds. Baker can't get it to go. Rivard fighting for it. Oh, almost got it. But it's tipped around there, and Randolph comes up with it. And here comes Hauser. Hauser stolen by Baker. Got a two on one. Let's see what happens. Rivard, left handed, lays it up, can't get it. Baker with a tip, can't get it to follow. And re uh, rebounded by Randolph. Cole Jakes quickly up court. Over to Hauser. Hauser stops, picks up his dribble, guarded by Rebar. Gets it down on top to Jakes. Jakes bring it back to the left. Guarded by Baker. Oh, they try to go underneath there. They do to Levi West. Against Pierre and Jelly, puts it up. It's good. Again, Randolph with that size advantage. They post it up, Levi West against Pierre and Jelly. And they call him for a foul. So right now it's 7 4. Randolph creeping back into it here. Just underway, 5.54 left to go in the first quarter here at Hazen. Shots on its way, and it's good. Nothing but net by Levi West. Makes it 7-5. Ball thrown away by Hazen. Picked off by Hauser. Hauser's going to go all the way. Puts it in. We got a whistle and a foul. Tyler Rivard took the charge. Oh, good call. Tyler Rivard took the charge. That's a pretty heady move, James, for a freshman. Oh, yeah, it is. I tell you. Kept his feet planted, though, and took it. Here comes Baker. Baker walking it up. Randolph now in a 1-3-1, half-court trap. Carter Hill drives left, right around, puts it right, oh, it's blocked from behind, and they're gonna call a foul. Carter Hill on a nice take, came all the way from the right wing, drove down the lane with his left hand, drew the foul. 
That foul is on Fritz Hauser, their big man. That's his first, team's third though. 5.36 left to go here in the first quarter. Randolph already with three team fouls. So Carter Hill puts it up, nice touch. Hill with the second one. Sophomore forward. Oh, knocked away there by Rebar. Picked up by Davidson. Back to Hill. Three pointer on the way. Off the glass. No good. Oh, could have been almost over the back by Rebar. But re rebound controlled by Randolph. Picked right off by Davidson. Here comes Hazen. Three on two. Davidson fakes. Oh, puts it in. And they call a block. Oh, no. What do they call? Charge. Oh, and he signaled the block. Wow, I, that's a signal for a block, but he called an offensive charge, so that's Cody's first. Randolph trying to get it in. They get it in the corner. They get it up to Hauser. They're going over the top to the big people against the press. Oh, almost, I don't know if he established position. Wow, right down the middle. No good. That's an offensive charge by Cole Jakes. So both teams trying to penetrate the basket, and both teams playing pretty good defense, holding the ground in there. Eight to five, Hazen up by three. Big crowd here. Hazen crowd waiting to erupt here, just waiting for a run. One, three, one trap. They, oh, yeah, they call over the back. That foul is on Chris Jacobs. Tyler Revard looking good in there for a freshman. Quickly off the bench now. We have Jacob Lewis. He comes in for uh, Wyatt Messier as he has two fouls already in the first three minutes of the game. So Davison to inbound it. Carter spins. Oh, nice underneath the rebound. Puts it up high off the glass. No good. <coughs> Here comes Randolph down the sideline. That's Chris Jacobs. Gets it out on top. Cole Jakes. Jakes trying to go way underneath, and they do to Levi West. It's knocked out of bounds. He loses it. You can see right now that Randolph's trying to go underneath every time. Not much for outside shooting. In the game now, we have... Uh, Lincoln Mitchard and Derek Sauls. Lincoln Mitchard, a freshman. Derek Sauls, a junior. Hazen, like I said, pretty young. Small but young. Sauls, back to Baker. Baker looking to spot up, out on top to Davison. Quickly in the corner to Carter Hill. He fakes, wow, he gets hit. Drives all the way around, going to put it up. No good, rebound by Rebard. No, that's Lincoln Mitchard. Lincoln Mitchard lays it in on the offensive rebound, making his impact felt already. Scramble for the ball, thrown out of bounds by Randolph. Hazen's press taking the toll now. But Lincoln Mitchard with a big offensive rebound in there and a nice touch. So Revired and Mitchard, the two freshmen, the biggest players Hazen got. They've already made their presence felt tonight. Mitchard inbounds it to Baker. Baker brings it out on top. Out here to Sauls. Sauls looking, goes left. Back over here, Davison. Davison's open. Carter Hill, ooh, stutter step. Back to Sauls, backs it back out over to Baker. Baker, long three, bang! Nothing but net. So Randolph to inbound against the press. Oh, we had a little travel there, I thought. They get it up court quickly. That's Chris Jacobs, guarded by Baker. Gonna have a five second call. Tough matchup, man to man defense. Once he brought the ball up and he couldn't dribble anymore, the defense tightened up, wouldn't allow him to pass. And that's what Hazen does. They work hard. 3.45 left to go here in the first quarter. And Randolph calls a timeout with a score. Hazen 13, the Galloping Ghost 5. Don't forget the next broadcast will be tomorrow night. And James Salvis here will be doing the broadcasting. He uh, did a simulated game tonight, did very well and I'm headed for warmer climates. <laughs> I, told, I told the TV station I'd fill in for a couple of games, get them started, and, and I'm gonna be gone for a while. So, But James will take over, he did a good job tonight. He did a simulated game in the first one. And uh, of course I was watching him like a hawk, correcting him all the way. No, I'm just kidding. He was doing a great job. So he'll fill right in, and hopefully for the rest of the season then I can just sit back and relax. Well, thank you, John, it means a lot. And of course, we have Griffin on the camera, and Griffin will correct him if he needs to, so that's no problem. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here we go. Hazen up 13 to 5, 345 left to go here in the first quarter. Baker over to Davison. Comes back left, looking inside, can't go there. 
Sauls to Baker. Now they're down on the baseline to Carter Hill. Goes into Mitchard. Left hand layup. Around and in. Oh, oh man, that did everything but go in. Nice move there by Lincoln Mitchard, though. And here comes Randolph. Wyatt Messier. Whoops, that was uh, Chris Jacobs out on top. Now they get it over on the right wing. Andrew Lewis into the game. They get it over here to Levi West. Guarded by Carter Hill. Back out on top. Chris Jacobs, long, wow. Long three. Makes it 13 to eight. Davison right wing. Baker spots up. Another three ball on the way. Bang! Isaiah Baker's got the mark now. They are dropping in there. Makes it 16 to eight. Oh, nice trap there by Davison. Randolph in trouble, trying to get it over. Oh, they do. This is Levi West, the floater, no good. Rebound by Carter Hill. Here comes Hazen. Hazen with numbers, three on two. Oh, had it picked off. Trying to go cross court to Cody Davison. Hauser, quickly to West. He fumbles it, can't get it down a little bit. They go back underneath to Hauser, and he got position, but he didn't put the basket in, but he got hammered. That fouls on Lincoln Mitchard. That'll be his first, team's third. 2.33 left to go here in the first quarter. Hazen on top, 16 to eight. Hauser looking to cut into that lead, and he, he does. Subs in the game now, we have Steven Martin, and we have Jaden Baker, Isaiah's brother. Jaden Baker, just a freshman. Three freshmen on this team. They've already seen action in the first quarter, two of them in the game now. Coach Aaron Hill not afraid to use them at all. Nice box out there. Great box out by Martin. Gets a rebound to Baker. Baker quickly in the corner. His brother. Oh, he's traveled. And Coach Aaron Hill said, shoot that ball. He knows he could shoot. He won't be afraid to put it in the air. So Randolph inbounded against the press. They get it into West. Now Randolph with numbers. West going to go all the way. Put up a floater. No good. Rebound in there by Jaden Baker. And we got a jump ball. So Baker in there fighting. It's going to be Hazen's ball. Randolph will probably leave Jaden Baker alone until he makes one or two. So Randolph now in a, let me see, when the, they're in a 2-2-1 full court press. Probably drop back into their 2-3 zone when they get around. Looking to trap the ball along the sideline. Hazen's got to get the ball in the middle somehow. They get it to Baker, bring it, there it is in the middle. There's Baker, he's going to spot up, he's going to fire, that's off the mark. A little freshman nervousness probably. And here comes Randolph. This is Fritz Hauser, guarded by Lincoln Mitchard. Over there to Andrew Lewis. Levi West, Hazen switching on their man to man. They get it over there to Chris Jacobs. He picks up his dribble, steps back. That's going to be short. Rebounded there. Here comes Martin, quickly up to Saul. Saul, oh, tried to go across court to Baker. Kicked out of bounds by Randolph. It's going to be Hazen's ball. In the game now, we have Tyler Revard. Out comes Lincoln Mitchard. Aaron, Coach Aaron Hill rotating his big people in there to keep him fresh. Oh, Randolph calls another timeout. So we got 136 left to go here in the first quarter. Hazen on top, 16 to nine. Randolph already calling their second timeout. I want to thank our sponsors again tonight. The Hardwick Village Restaurant, open 6 a.m. to 8 p.m., seven days a week, and they serve breakfast all day long. And Willie's Store up in Greensboro, Vermont, 533-2621, open every day, 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. Now, check out our rebroadcast on HCTV Channel 16. And all basketball will be archived on our website at the end of the season. So Randolph comes in here at 0-1. Coach Aaron Hill went down and scouted him. And they lost to Mount Abraham in Division II. Of course, Randolph's be in Division II. I believe they, well, they might have dropped down to Division III. I'm not sure of that. They switched a couple of times. But he said they had good size, and they're gonna try to slow the game down, but Randolph seems to want to run with Hazen, and that could be their downfall. So it's gonna be Hazen's ball underneath. Jaden Baker's gonna inbound it. Look for him to come back in and get a shot. If he can oh, inside the Sauls. Wide open. Inside the Derek Sauls laid it in. Good look. Randolph trying to inbound it against the press. They get into Levi West. West goes right down the sideline. Trapped there by Martin. 
They get it to Jacobs. Jacobs over here to Lewis. Lewis drives against Sauls, picks up his dribble though. Tyler Rebarn all over Fritz Hauser. Inside, that was Jacob Lewis who lost it. We got a jump ball. Couldn't get the shot off. Now we got Ethan Shoplin in the game. So I don't know how many players Hazen has put in there, but it's been nine or ten already in the first quarter. Uh, Aaron Hill not afraid. To, oh, nice play there. Left hand no good. Rebound by Isaiah Baker. Quickly up court to his brother. Oh, what a bounce pass to Rebard. Jaden Baker, what a bounce pass to Rebard. Nice look by the freshman to freshman. Unbelievable. 20 to 9. Hazen stretching the lead out here as we wind down the first quarter. Over here to Jacobs. Oh, we got an offensive charge as he stuck his elbow out. I don't know why they're questioning that call. <laughs> so Hazen's going to inbound it. It's good. It's going to be Tyler Rivard getting it into Baker. There's 41.6 seconds left to go here in the first quarter. Hazen on top by 11 with a 20-point first quarter and looking for more. Here comes Baker walking it up. Randolph in a 1-2-2 zone, collapsing in the middle. Now Baker to Baker. He bounce it inside to Rivard. Stops. Back to Salt. Over to Baker. They leave him alone. Three ball. Back rim. No good. Rebound. Oh, by Jaden Baker. Back out on top. 20 seconds to go. So Hazen holding their own on the boards. Coach Aaron Hill's going to be happy with that. Over here to Jaden Baker, winding down. 10 seconds left. He's double teamed. Somebody's open. There's Saul. Saul spots up to Jaden Baker. He's got to shoot it. Goes in for the layup, puts it up. No good. Oh, nice little drive, nice move. Got a good shot off at the buzzer. Randolph couldn't score. And that ends the first quarter with Hazen on top, 20 to 9. Don't forget, we'll be right back here tomorrow night with the championship game. The winner of this game will take on Lamoille. And Lamoille was pretty impressive against Williamstown. Williamstown's always tough. They won the first three years up here, this tournament. And um, they played very tough at the end. It was always a six, eight, nine point lead. And they cut it to four, but they couldn't just quite climb over the hump. Uh, Lamoille made some key baskets. So it'll be interesting to see what happens because Lamoille has some good size up front. And if Hazen hangs on to this one, could be a good matchup, James, tomorrow night. I think it will be a really good game. I mean, you know, Lamoille's got a lot of size inside. They can finish around the rim. But, I mean, as I think you notice that their big guys can shoot threes as well. Yeah, the big, especially the Hunter Wells kid. Oh, yeah, very good. He's and the, whoops, excuse me. In the game, they, the kid they got to watch out for that I was impressed with was Jacob Royer. Yeah, very, very good for him as well. I mean, he shot the three ball good. And... Like you said, Wells, very versatile big man, can go in and out. So it's going to be Hazen's ball. They already lead 29. We're starting to kick off the second quarter here. Randolph's been trying to run with them, and the press has been doing some damage. Uh, actually, the three freshmen have been doing some damage. <laughs> Tyler Rivard finishing inside. Some nice passes by Jaden uh, Baker. And, of course, Lincoln Mitchell with an early hoop. So Baker gets it to Sauls. Oh, they go underneath there. Wow, blocked inside. That was Ethan Shoplin, but it was a nice move, nice rotation. Here comes Randolph. Cole Jakes stops at the elbow, back out on top. Levi West spotting up, guarded by Saul. They go inside. Nice play. They use the size advantage there as Jacob Lewis quickly up court. There's Rebound. Oh, tried to catch the ball with a power dribble. Couldn't quite control it. Went out of bounds. But it just shows you how fast Hazen gets up and down the court. And believe you me, that will take a toll on Randolph before the game's over. So Randolph's going to inbound it. They get it inside. That's Cole Jakes trying to break the press on the dribble. Oh, they're going to call Tyler Rivard with a body. That's going to bring Lincoln in. That's probably Rivard's second, maybe. No, that's his first. Coach Aaron Hill taking no chances. Give him a break. One reason that Coach Hill uses a lot of subs is because they press and he likes to keep fresh legs in there. Hey, they got a trap on the baseline, but uh, on the sideline, but they get it over. That is Andrew Lewis into the game. They get it over here to Levi West. Back out on top. Fritz Hauser. He's in playing good defense. 
Cole Jakes, guarded by Pierre and Jelly, back into the game. Here goes Levi West down the lane, throws up a Hail Mary, no good. Rebound fought for on the floor, picked up by Cody Davison. Cody Davison's been pretty quiet. He's about ready to break open. Stop, elbow, pop and jump, good. Bang! I guess we call that one right. Cody Davison, little stop and jump at the elbow. Oh, and they're going to call a foul. That foul on Pierre and Jelly. Coach Aaron Hill yelling at him, use your feet, boys, keep your hands off them. But you can see Randolph already putting their hands on their waist, bending over there, already fatigued a little bit. But there they go, Cole Jake's gonna go all the way, lay it up, no good, rebound in there. Whoa, and he is all tied up, they're gonna call a jump ball. That was Jaden Baker in there, the freshman, and he just got swallowed up by Randolph's size. Not much he could do there. In comes Sauls, Jaden Baker doing a good job. Here comes Isaiah back in the game. And he's coming in for Pierre and Girelli. Junior guard. Hazen with just three seniors. They have uh, Cody Davison, Stephen Martin, and Dylan Perry as seniors. Pile of juniors, couple of sophomores, and three freshmen. So they're gonna be tough. Just not very big. Randolph inbound at Levi West, looking to go inside, he can't. Almost at a five second call, it's tipped. Knocked away by Lincoln Mitchell, recovered by West though. Looking to go inside, he can't. Bottled up there, they get it over here to Jakes. Jakes on the right wing, guided by Sauls. Comes back out on top left, Sauls playing good defense. Watch the hand checking though. Gets by him in the corner. Shot, that no good by Andrew Lewis. Rebound knocked out of bounds, it's gonna be Hazen's ball. Good defense there by Hazen. Bottled Randolph up, Randolph up on the sideline over there, made him take a crazy shot. Lincoln Mitchell gets it into Cody Davison, came back to rescue him. So here comes Davison, going, trying to go one on one. As the ball go off his foot, somebody's open, Baker's open. Gets it to Carter Hill in the game, go. Had it picked, had his pocket picked, going down the baseline. So Hauser backs it up, looking to pass to somebody. Oh, we got a whistle and a player hurt. Got a stoppage in play. The referee hesitated on the whistle. And the referees will hesitate on the whistle um, not to take an advantage away from the team, but the minute he saw the kid from Randolph bring the ball back out, they call, they call the play. Don't forget the girls play this coming Saturday. They got a tough road ahead of them. They got to go to Enosburg. Enosburg is always a pretty good team up there and they are, it's a tough place to play. This is Andrew Lewis. He got hit, got hurt somewhere. As we said before, this is the fifth annual Dave Morse Classic. Always a good turnout here. Come to see the two games. And of course, with Lamoille being in it right close by, just down the road, they bring a good following in the first game. Williamstown always has a good following. And Williamstown and Hazen being good rivals anyways. So it looks like he's okay, walking it off. It looks like in the schedule, this is the only time we, well, we won't face Williamstown this year in the regular season. Because we won't face them tomorrow night in the tournament, as they will be playing the loser of this game. Well, unless we lose this game. So we got six minutes left to go here till halftime. Hazen on top, 22 to 11. Held the two points so far this quarter. All right, now we got a sub in the game. That's Wyatt Messier, who started anyways. Okay, Jacob Lewis is going to inbound it. Gets it into Jakes. They try to go underneath, picked off by Cody Davison. Here comes Hazen, got numbers. Cody Davison all the way. Didn't even try to stop him. Cody Davison with a nice right-handed layup down the lane, makes it 24 to 11. Here comes Jakes, Jakes wants to go. Stopped there by Carter Hill, good defense. Bounce pass to Sauls, quickly up, no good. Oh, and they're gonna call Sauls for a foul, reaching in. 
Little frustration there, missing that right-handed layup. So in the game now, we have Tyson Davison, another sophomore. So I'm pretty sure 90% of the players for Hazen have already been in the game. And we got 541 left to go here in the second quarter. So here comes Hay oh boy, and they're gonna call. They're gonna call Ty Tyson Davison for a reach in. So that's Hazen's seventh team foul. So Randolph will be shooting the rest of the way. 5.31 left to go here in the first half. So any foul now and Randolph will be shooting. First one's on its way, rattles around, Bonk comes out. Lincoln Mitchell corrals the rebound. Baker quickly up to Tyson Davison and it was tipped. As he tried to go to Carter Hill. Coach Hill calls out the play. Cody Davison inbounds it. A wide open Carter Hill lays it up and rattles around good. Easy play there. So here comes Randolph. They got him trapped. They try to go back over here to the big man, Hauser. They get it back over there to Levi West. Hazen with their scrambling defense, trapping every time they get knocked away by Davison. Baker tried to get it right back to Davison, threw it behind them. Here comes Hauser, goes all the way off the glass, no good, tipped up and in, no good. But there is the size advantage as Fritz Hauser laid that in on the third try. But here comes Hazen, they aren't gonna mess around. Baker drives her down the lane. Gonna put it up left-handed with a spin, and it's good. Isaiah Baker made that look good, 28-13. Hazen on top by 15. Randolph, oh, Randolph on a quick hitter. And they go to Jacob Lewis underneath who laid it in and got fouled. And that fouls on Tyson Davis in his second. And in the game now we have Ethan Shoplin replacing Tyson Davison. So 28 to 15 here, almost halfway through the second quarter. Jacob Lewis is gonna try to cut into it a little bit more and he does, nails that one. Mitchard gets it into Baker, here comes Baker. Coming up the left side. Over here to Shoplin, out on top to Davison. Cody's looking, they go to Baker. Baker stops, pops, three ball, bang! Wow, Isaiah Baker made that look good. And we got a whistle and a foul. Coach Aaron Hill is not happy with the way they're reaching for the ball instead of moving their feet. James, you know how many threes that is for uh, Isaiah Baker? That is three. Three threes for Isaiah Baker already. I think he's three for four. So he's on. So that's going to put Cole Jakes to the line for Randolph. First one's up, no good, rattled around, rebound inside by Hauser, puts it up, and they're gonna call a foul. Actually, I'm sorry, John, that was his fourth three. His fourth three, already. And then he had that layup. So that gives him 14 already then. Mm -hmm. So Hauser, using his size advantage, inside, drew the foul, can't get it to go. Hazen on top, 31-16 here. Second one's no good by Hauser. Rebounded, controlled by Carter Hill. Gets it up to Baker quickly, up to Davison. Davison stops, Hill coming down the lane. Gonna, oh, tried to go and they're gonna call another foul. That foul was on Jacob Lewis. That's gonna put Carter Hill to the line, shoot one and one. Oh, it gave him two. They're going to give him two. Said he was in the act of shooting. First one's up. Nice rotation. Puts that in. Second one's up. Front rims it. No good. Rebound controlled there by Messier. Randolph almost lost it. Hauser with a long three. Oh, no good short, but the rebound in there by Messier. He can't get it to go, and here comes Baker. Quickly up to Davison with numbers. You know Davison's going all the way. Lays it up, no good. 
Rebound by Shoplin, gets it out the hill, back to Davison. Davison, oh, tried to go baseline, he is fouled. So that's gonna put Cody Davison into the line. Randolph just doesn't have the speed to match Hazen. And, and the speed and the pace of this game is starting to take the tolls. When you start seeing players with hands on their hips and bending to their knees on the foul line, they're starting to get fatigued. So we got Tyler Rivard in the game now, Jaden Baker in the game, along with Carter Hill, Cody Davidson, and Isaiah Baker. Davidson short on that, tipped by Rivard. Oh, back to Baker. He tried to go underneath, couldn't do it. There's Jaden Baker. Oh, he tried to go inside to Rivard. Rivard is spotting up, looking for him to shoot. Oh, they're going to call Cody Davidson with a probably had to be a body. Had to be a body as Jacob Lewis went down the lane, but. Ugh. Cody Davison blocked that shot. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't think Cody got him with anything else unless it was the body. Had to be the body. He, he's getting an explanation now. So that's Cody's second foul. Team's 10th. So Randolph's going to be shooting two. And that one's good by Jacob Lewis. So Derek Sauls comes in to give Cody a break. Coach Aaron Hill says, no need for you to get your third here in the second quarter. Second one's on its way. No good. Oh, I think they're going to call a, a... Wow. I guess I didn't see that. That foul's on Tyler Rivard, his second. And that is going to put Wyatt Messier to the line to shoot two. First one's on its way, and it's good. So Hazen's starting to creep into a little bit of foul trouble here. Three or four players with two each. So Lincoln Mitchard's in the game, replacing Rivard. Oh, he made them both. Cuts the lead, 32 to 19. Quickly up court, Jaden Baker. Out on top to Sauls. Sauls drives down the lane. Goes outside to Mitchard. Double dribble. They're going to call him double dribble. Passes a little off. He had to catch it on the dribble, and then he dribbled again. So Hazen looking a little sloppy here. A few turnovers. Randolph looking to cut into that lead before halftime. Here comes Jakes. Jakes breaks the press. Gets it over here to Andrew Lewis, drives on the baseline, tried to go cross court, couldn't get it over to uh, Jacob Lewis, but knocked out of bounds, it's gonna be Randolph's ball. Randolph to inbound it. They set up a stack with a couple of screens in the corner. Jacob Lewis, no good, knocked around there by Randolph, back out on top. They go inside to the big man. Oh, and they're gonna call Carter Hill. That's Wyatt Messier. That's the one that uh, Aaron was nervous about. Six foot five. And they're going inside to him now. And he has a decided height advantage. Gonna shoot two. First one's on its way. Free throws. Bringing uh, Randolph right back into this. 3.06 left to go here before halftime. And Randolph creeping into it. 32 to 20 now. Second one's on its way, no good. Rebound controlled by Baker. Quickly up to Sauls. Sauls brings it back out. Randolph recovered quickly. Goes down along the baseline, picks up his dribble. Tried to get it back out to Martin. Baker. Coach Hill calls out the play. Gets over here to Jaden Baker. Now here to Steven Martin. Back out on top to Sauls. Sauls looking, looking, gets it to Isaiah Baker. Over to his brother Jaden. Oh, he got a whistle and a reach foul there. That's going to put Jaden Baker to the line now. He's going to shoot one and one. Sub in the game, we have Chris Jacobs back in. So Jaden Baker, the third freshman on the team. All three freshmen have played and played a good amount already. And made some impact. Baker puts it up, back rims it. Isaiah Baker taps it back to him, back out on top of Saul, spots up. Three-pointer, no good. Rebound in there by Mark. 
Martin picks up his dribble over on the side, gets it out on top. Jaden Baker down the lane. A floater, back rim, roll, no good. Rebound by Randall. Hazen with three looks at the basket, couldn't get it to go. Oh, he lost it out of bounds. Good defense there by Jaden Baker. And he comes out of the game replaced by Shoplin as uh, Coach Hill keeping those fresh legs in the game. Going to run that press all night. And he can do it with his depth he's got. 32-20, Hazen on top, winding down the first half here. 2-12, two two left to go. Ball's tipped, but Lincoln Mitchard picks it up, gets it over to Baker. Baker dribbling, nowhere to go there, guarding him. Down on top to Martin, to Sauls. We got a whistle. And they're going to call that foul. It's going to be on Levi West, away from the ball with a hold on Baker. I think Baker had a beat cut into the line, so he grabbed him. So Isaiah Baker, last year I believe he made 30-something free throws in a row during the season. 36, I believe it was, John. Whoa, got that one to float in. That breaks the ice a little bit. 33-20, Hazen on top by 13. Second one, oh, back rimmed it, but he didn't get his drop. Oh, wow. Lincoln Mitchard giving a battle on the boards, just had it bounce off his shoulder. So in the game now for Randolph, we have uh, Andrew Lewis. So Randolph's going to inbound it. Hazen in their press. They're going to stay in it. They look to go down the sideline, and they do. The, oh, picked off, picked off by Shoplin. Whoa, gets it on the floor. Oh, now they're going to call. Now they're going to call Shoplin for diving in. Good defense by Hazen, but just couldn't get the bounce of the ball. And then, and then of course, Shoplin dove in. The minute he did that, that's a foul. So that is going to put Andrew Lewis to the line to shoot two. And that is Shoplin's second foul. First one's good. Randolph fairly consistent from the free throw lines, keeping him somewhere near in this game. 33-21, the Cats up by 12. Second one is good. Well, that makes the score 33-22. As we wind down the first half, Baker's gonna go right down the lane and they're gonna call him, call 13, I believe. Yes, it is. That is Levi West, that's his second. That's going to put Baker to the line. First one's good. Coach Aaron Hill talking to him at the beginning of the game. He said this won't be a pretty game because Randolph grinds it out and they try to go inside. And they got a big size advantage. And he was right. But Hazen Speed starting to take control here a little bit. 35-22. Whoa, long pass. And that goes to uh, Levi West. Oh, and he traveled. Good defense. Baker almost had to steal. Didn't come up with the ball, but he guided Levi West really tight and forced him to travel. They are all over Isaiah Baker. Levi West staying right with him wherever he goes. Randolph now playing man-to-man -man matchup. Solved, blocked from behind. But Hazen should get some good looks down the lane against their man-to-man, -man, because no way can Randolph match their speed. So Derek Sauls is going to inbound it. They go to Martin, Martin quickly up, can't get it to go, rebound inside, knocked away by Mitchard, but he hands it to Sauls. Sauls gets it to Baker, Baker's going right down the lane, puts it up, and he's blocked. Oh, he got the tip almost. No call in there, whoa. We got a referee's timeout and uh, to uh, Isaiah Baker and um, Andrew Lewis going at it a little bit. He just said, hey boys, play the game. Play the game, no foul on anybody. That's a good refereeing job. It's gonna be Randolph's ball. A little scramble underneath, got a little testy, nothing big. They get it inside here. That's Cole Jakes bringing it down the sideline. 
And they're going to call Derek Sauls for a foul. <coughs> so that's going to put Cole Jakes to the line to shoot two. Randolph hanging around with free throws. Couldn't get that one. I tell you, John, for the most part, they've been a very consistent free throw shooting team tonight. They have. So in the game now, Shoplin comes in, replacing Sauls. 122 left to go here in the first half. Second one's up. That's good. 35-23. Cats up by 12. Baker quickly up. Shoplin's going to spot up three-pointer. Missed everything. Rebound by Randolph. Here comes Randolph on the break. Nice move there by Colt Jakes. Couldn't get it to go. We got a rebound tussle. And uh, what are we going to have? That foul on Shoplin, I believe. That's his third. Coach Aaron Hill wonders why his player got called for a foul when they're going for the ball. That's going to put Andrew Lewis to the line. He's off on that one. You might be seeing... Uh, excuse me, that's Levi West. You might be seeing a little fatigue taking place now as uh, Randolph not quite so consistent anymore from the free throw line. Second one's up. That one's good. Here comes Baker. Hazen looking to score here. They get it out on top to Shoplin. Over to Mitchard. In the corner to Martin. Looking inside. Nothing there. Mitchard out on top. Takes a dribble. Oh, Lincoln threw that ball between the between the offensive and defensive player, and uh, Baker got called for the foul. So again, that's going to put Levi West to the free throw line. You see Coach Hill there just telling them to move their feet, get in front of them. Yeah, and they got to go to the ball. They do. West, a little more arc that time. Dipped a little deeper. Used his legs. That cuts the lead to 10, 35-25. The closest Randolph's been in a while. Second one's on its way. That's good. Now the lead's under double digits. Less than a minute to go here. Hazen in a scoring drought. Shoplin quickly out on top to Pierre and Girelli. Baker from the corner. Three-pointer. Bang! Isaiah Baker nails it. Here comes Randolph. Trap. Picked off. Here comes Martin. Martin's going to go all the way for the layup. Puts it up. No good. Rebound by Baker. Got that one to go, though. So that makes it 40 to 26. So Hayes with a little 5 nothing spurt here. Puts the lead back up to 16. Looking to steal it here. Randolph trying to bring it up the sideline. They get it up there. That's Levi West. He's going to go. Shut off. Turns around. Puts it up. Nails it. Levi West. Here comes Baker. Looking for the last shot. Baker down the lane. Going to put it up. Hands it off. Wow, nice pass to Lincoln Mitchard. Puts it in just before the buzzer. And that ends the first half with a score. Your Asian Union Wildcats, 42. The Gallup it goes to Randolph, 28. This is John Lucier, and we will be back at the start of the third quarter. Hey, we're just about ready to start the second half here. Hazen on top, 42 to 28. Let's quickly run down the scoring. For Randolph, Jace, Jacobs with three. Jacob Lewis with six. Hauser with three. Jakes with three, Messier with three, and um, that would be the other Lewis, Andrew Lewis with two. Pretty balanced score for Randolph for a total of 28. With Hazen, it's Isaiah Baker leading the way with 22 in the first half. Cody Davison with six, Rivard with four, Hill with four, Mitchard with four, and Sauls with two for a total of 42. So there's a buzzer. We're going to start the second half. It is going to be Hazen's ball. And again, I want to thank our sponsors. The Hardwick Village Restaurant opens 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. seven days a week. Breakfast all day. And go down and see Lynn. She'd love to see you down there. And the famous Willie's store up in Greensboro, Vermont at 533-2621. And they are open every day from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. And if they don't have it, you don't need it. So let's see who Hazen 
puts out on the court. They got one player with three fouls. I believe that's Tyler Rivard, a slew of them with two. But with the bodies and the depth they've got, they aren't really considered to be in foul trouble. We'll see if Randolph can hang with them here in the second half. Speed's starting to take a toll. So it's going to be Rivard, Isaiah Baker, Cody Davison, Carter Hill, and Nathan Piangelli. I'm going to say that name wrong all night long. Piangelli. Piangelli. Starting five for Hazen. Randolph counters with their starting five. So Rebart's going to inbound it. So you can bet your bottom dollar that they're going to stay with Isaiah Baker. Rebart to Davison. Hands it off to Rebart. Back to Davison. Spots up. Fakes a three. Gets it back out on top. Carter Hill right down the lane. Going to go all the way. Lay it up too hard, but he drew the foul. And Carter Hill has a knack for finding that lane. When he gets the ball, he is looking to take it to the hole. And that foul is on Fritz Hauser. That's his third on the big guy. Hill puts it up, back rims it. Carter Hill puts it up. There's a better rotation. Nice shot, 43-28. Hazen strikes first. Hazen in their press. That is Cole Jakes. Oh, and he lost it out of bounds. Good defense by Pierangirelli. Moved his feet that time, forced the ball out of bounds. Baker out on top. Randolph staying man to man with Hazen. That could cause some problems for Randolph. Cody Davidson matches up, drives right by him. Puts it up, draws a contact. Oh, big rebound there by Rivard. Couldn't get it to go. Oh, wow. Wow, that is a hustle foul by Tyler Rivard. He kept after it after he missed the first layup. But, oh, man, did he hustle. It's too bad he got that foul. You could almost see it coming. But that's his third. That is his third. So he only had two in the first half. Oh, we got a timeout on the floor called by Randolph. 7.26 just underway here in the second half and uh, Hazen on top by 15. So Lincoln Mitchard is in for Rivard. That was a quick timeout so the coach from Randolph, that's already his third timeout. That could uh, cause him some problems further on down the stretch because they're only allowed four, five or six the entire game, five I think. I think he's already used for Randolph it. looking to go deep. Picked off by Carter Hill. Hill trying to go down the lane, spins. He is fouled as he goes down the lane. So Carter Hill, another trip down the lane. He gets fouled, but it's going to be Hazen's ball out of bounds. He was fouled, not in the act of shooting. Or are they going to give it to him? No. So Hazen will inbound it. Cody Davison inbound and looking inside. Can't get it. Coach Aaron Hill, nothing was set up there. Nothing was called out. Everybody just running around. So he called timeout to re retain possession. So another timeout on the floor. The score still 43 to 28. Hazen up by 15. Just underway here in the second half of the fifth annual Dave Morris Classic. And as I said before, the winner of this game will take on Lamoille, who edged Williamstown in a great game. In the opener, Williamstown will play the loser of this game. Starting tomorrow night, I believe, at 5.30 with the championship game to follow immediately after. And you know the Hazen boys want to win this tournament. Memory of Dave Morse. So Carter Hill's going to inbound it. Let's see what they set up. They're going to try to get Baker for a shot, I believe, if they can. They bounce it into Mitchard. Back out on top to Pierangirelli. Baker comes around the corner, spots up, fade away, three ball. Side rims it, no good, rebound by Carter Hill. He's looking to go inside, pivots, puts it up, and he's fouled. Carter Hill, relentless in there. He's gonna go to the free throw line. I tell you, he's not afraid of contact in there, John, that's for sure. No, he's not. And Carter, just being a sophomore, showing some good moves in there. That foul was on Fritz Hauser, his fourth, so he's got to sit down. And that will bring Jacob Lewis, so a significant height loss there for Randolph. Carter Hill. 
Made the first one, second one's on its way, and that one's good. 45-28, Hazen on top by 17 here, just underway in the second half. Ball knocked away by Baker, behind his back, pass underneath. Davison hands it out to Pierre Girelli, brings it back out. Drives, gonna put it up, can't get it to go. Rebound inside by Mitchard, he can't get it to go. And we got, he hustles for the rebound. Ties it up, it's gonna be Randolph's ball. Well, Lincoln Mitchard battling in there. Hazen doesn't have much size, but what size they have is tough in there. And two of them are freshmen. Hazen pressing man to man, they get it inside to Levi West. Double team there by Carter Hill. Pierangirelli picks him up, brings it across. West not a bad little ball handler for Randolph, but he picks up his dribble. They get it out on top, it's almost knocked away by Mitchard. That is Jacob Lewis, gets it out on top. Wyatt Messier, try to go inside. Loose ball picked off by Mitchard. Oh, try to go cross court. Got lucky there when the Randolph player put it off on the floor. And they're gonna call Mitchard for a foul. Little freshman mistake there by Lincoln Mitchard as he tried to go across the middle of in front of your own basket. You do not do that, the one, the basket you're defending. That's an easy pick off. So that foul was on Lincoln. That's his second. Coach Hill not upset at all. So there's going to be a timeout on the floor as we have an injured player down for Randolph. Referee's timeout. Nobody will be charged here. Hope he gets up though. That's number 20, Jacob Lewis. He looks all right. <coughs> so the players are back on the court now. And I believe that the coach went out a little bit. And so when a coach goes out on the floor, the player that he went out for has to sit down. He's limping a little bit anyway, so he would take him out. So it's gonna be Randolph's ball on the sideline. Chris Jacobs guarded by Carter Hill. They get it over there to Cole Jakes, guarded by Cody Davison. They go inside, oh, out of bounds. And it's, oh, they're gonna say it was knocked out. And it was by Isaiah Baker. So it's gonna be Randolph's ball underneath. Looking to get a quick hoop here to get back into this game. They trail by 17. They go down the middle, knocked away by Cody Davis. It picked off by Baker, quickly up to Pierre and Girelli. He goes in for the layup. Nice and smooth. Patented fast break by Hazen. Davison to Baker to Pierre and Girelli. 47-28, Hazen up by 19. Little contact there by Baker. He is all over Levi West. Levi West is going to be some tired at the end of this game. Baker, be careful. They get it over there to Jakes. Jake, they go inside. And it's fumbled around, picked up by Carter Hill. Carter Hill comes around left. They're gonna drove down the lane. I don't know if he was trying to pass it or shoot it, but it went to the basket. And that's gonna put Carter Hill to the line again. I tell you, Hill's been to the line a lot tonight, John. He goes hard down that lane. He did have a couple guys open. I think he was trying to, at first, he was going to try to get it in there to uh, Davison, but uh, I think it got deflected and his arm got held. But the first one's good anyways. That puts Hazen up by an even 20. That foul was on Cole Jakes, his fourth. So Randolph with two players with four. Mitchell trying to knock a rebound around. But it's picked off there by Chris Jacobs. Gets it up to Levi West, guarded by Pierre Girelli. There's a screen out on top. West goes around, picked up by Baker, trying to come back around. It's fumbled, picked up by Mitchard. Mitchard can't control it, picks it up. Gets it over to Carter Hill, steps back, three-point line, bang! Carter Hill stepped back on the pass from Lincoln Mitchard. Again, that hard work in defense by Hazen. They are all over the place. And we got a whistle and another timeout by Randolph. Whoops. A full timeout, so 5-12 left to go here in the third quarter. And Hazen's starting to run away here and put a little distance between them and the Ghosts. They lead it 51-28. to Don't forget, we'll be right back here tomorrow night with the consolation and championship game of the Dave Morse Classic. The girls, they play Saturday. Then I believe they go to the Lamoille Tournament. 
And then they have Williamstown and Virgins. So their schedule is not easy. I believe in the tournament they have Peoples the first time around. That's the way it usually works. And uh, Peoples started off with a bang. They won their first one the other night. First two. They won their first two. So Peoples is a team to be reckoned with. They still got the Yandow girl. Yep. yep. She's a senior. Amy, is that her name? Yep. Amy, Amy Yandow. Yandow. She's a senior and she is a good player. So Hazen will have to contend with her. There you see a little smile from Carter and his dad. Oh, yeah. 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 Carter, he's fired up now. He is. He, but they're working hard. They're working hard. You like to see that fired up in a good way. You don't like to see heads go down. No. So Hazen and their man-to-man -man defense working Levi West, guarded by Cody Davison. They are forcing him to really work hard. They bring it back out. Oh, they are going to call Cody Davison with a hand check. He knows it. Coach Aaron Hill says, listen, you got him out there trapped. Don't be putting your hands on him. So Randolph's going to inbound it. Sauls comes in for Davison. That was his third foul. Team's third. They're trying to lob it in there. They do. Oh, out of bounds. I'll tell you, Isaiah Baker did a nice job putting a body on um, Jacob Lewis. They knew he was there coming with a lob and forced him off balance. He lost it out of bounds. So they're picking up Baker full court. And Aaron says, just go down there. Let Sauls bring it up. So here comes Derek. Walking it across the line, gets it to Carter Hill. Carter Hill picks up his dribble. Oh, back door to Baker. Baker stops, puts it up. Wow, call the block, no foul. Here comes Levi West, and he is working hard. Guarded by Pierre Andrelli. Stops at the lane, turns around, puts it up. Couldn't get it to go. Rebound by Isaiah Baker. He's trapped there, knocked out of bounds by Randolph. So Baker working hard, exerting himself. Playing great defense plus offense. So here comes Sauls. He'll use Baker as a decoy the rest of the night. He'll just shake loose every once in a while. Kyder Hill going down the lane. Has it picked and is fouled. That foul's on Levi West. That is, let me see when they posted here. That's the team's fifth foul already. 422 left to go here in the third quarter. That's his third. Randolph's got some serious foul trouble. They're getting, of, they're getting close to that bonus already. A couple more and they'll be in the bonus. Baker steps back. He wants to shoot it. They won't let him. Keeps his dribble alive. Carter Hill, stutter step, puts it up, and it's good. Carter Hill with two on a nice drive. Makes it 53 to 28. Randolph looking to get it in. Here comes Levi West. Drives right down the lane, stops. Oh. They're gonna call a whistle before the shot. That foul on Pierre Girelli, his third. Here comes Jaden Baker, fresh legs to guard him. Coach Aaron Hill's gonna rotate everybody, keep fresh legs in there on the press. So Randolph's gonna inbound it, see what they run for a play. Hazen in a man to man. Tyler Rebart guarding him in there. They throw it to space. Oh, Baker comes up from behind, picks it up, lays it up. That one's good. Hazen Speed showing up there. So behind his back, that was Chris Jacobs, picks it up, hands it off to Levi West. Oh, and they're going to call Jaden Baker for a foul. Coach Aaron Hill not happy with that. Oh, that foul was on Sauls. His third, team's fifth. Along the baseline, they get it out on top to Jacobs. Picks up his dribble, they go inside. That's Wyatt Messier. Has it picked by Sauls. Picked up by Rivard. Stolen back, stolen back by Rivard. Here comes Baker. Baker, down the lane. Puts up a spinner, no good. Fighting for the rebound was Rebard, but out of the pack comes Randolph. That was Andrew Lewis, hands it off to Levi West. West guarded by Jaden Baker, brings it over. 
They're looking to go inside if they can. Carter Hill fronting them. Out on top. Levi West steps back, picks up his dribble, gets it out on top to Chris Jacobs. Guarded by Sauls. Hazen's man-to-man -man really buckling down here, forcing him to back it out. They're all wide open. Somebody left somebody. That was Jacob Lewis that got open for the layup. 55-30, Hazen on top by 25. Baker. Oh, tried to throw it to space to Carter Hill. Couldn't quite get it to go. Picked up by Randolph. And here comes Levi West again. West guarded by the freshman, Jaden Baker. Whoa, almost carried it. Out on top, Andrew Lewis goes baseline, guarded by Rivard. Gets it out to long shot there. No good, back rim. Wow, Hazen with no box out in there. Tyler Rivard finally gets the rebound. Quickly up court, Jaden Baker stops. Goes baseline, jump stop. Back out on top to Isaiah, three pointer on the way. No good, we got a rebound and a foul on somebody. <coughs> That foul is on Chris Jacobs on a clear out. That's going to be their sixth foul. That's his third. And that'll put, uh, let me see, Hazen's going to take it out of bounds. Jaden Baker's going to inbound it. Looking to get it in. Inside to Carter Hill, left hand layup. Carter Hill having the night of his life. How many has Carter got right now, James? 15. 15 for Carter Hill. Sure. Starting tonight off good at least. He sure is. Here comes Levi West, guarded by Jaden Baker. Gets it inside. No good inside there. That was Wyatt Messier with two shots at it. Got it to go. Little size advantage. Cody Davison stops out on top. Carter Hill decides another three. No good. Rebound in there by Randolph. They get it to Levi West. Guarded by Baker. Baker hounding him all over. If it's not one Baker, it's the other. They've made him work. That kid will sleep on the bus home. Oh, pops up a jump shot. No good. A rebound. Coach Aaron Hill not happy, even with a 25-point lead, giving up those rebounds. There's a rebound by Sauls. Looking quickly up to Cody Davison. Didn't have it back out. Sauls right down the lane. Going to put it up left hand. No good. Rebound fought around. Knocked out there by Tyler Rivard. Recovered by Baker to Carter Hill. No good. Wow, another box out. That was a little extreme box out there by, uh, that would be on Chris Jacobs. That's his fourth though. Two of them coming on the box outs. But that just shows the aggressiveness of Hazen. And that puts Randolph over the limit. So with 24, 29 seconds left to go here in the first quarter, Hazen shooting one and one the rest of the game. Uh, third quarter. Saw Griff put the three up over there. Yeah. Hey, that's only my first mistake tonight. That's, that's got to be a record because usually, usually I have one by the first quarter. <laughs> so I'm getting better. Souls, no good. Can't seem to find it tonight. Rebound in there, that is Austin White in the game. Jaden Baker all over the floor looking for the ball, but here comes Levi West. Stop, pops, floater, and it's good. 57-34, 13 seconds to go. Davison quickly up court to Souls. Stops, puts it up, no good, but he drew the foul. So that'll put Derek Sauls to the line. Sauls a junior guard. Played varsity last year a lot. Left-hander puts it up and can't get it to go. Sauls with his second one. And that one rattles home. So 58-34. Hazen on top by 24. We wind down the third quarter. So here comes Levi West. Going to take a Hail Mary shot. Stops. Floater. No good. And there's the buzzer. And that's the end of the third quarter with the Hazen Union Wildcats comfortably on top of Randolph. 58 to 34.
The Williamstown players are sitting right in front of me and they've seen enough. They're headed home. They know they're going to have to play Randolph tomorrow night. I want to thank our sponsors again. Hardwick Village Restaurant. Open 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. seven days a week. Breakfast all day long. And the Willie Store. Located up in Greensboro, Vermont at 533-2621. And they are open every day. 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. Don't forget to check out our broadcast, our rebroadcast on HCTV Channel 16. And usually we are streaming live on www.hctvus. But tonight the game canceled last night, and on Thursday night there's select board meetings, and they have to cover them. So we couldn't stream tonight, but they will be tomorrow night. And don't forget all the basketball games will be our boys and girls will be archived on our website at the end of the season so you can go on the website at the end of the season and pick out any game you want to watch and I'm sure they can burn you CDs of the game right Griffin yeah they still do that so if you got a game you want to see and want to hold for posterity you call them and they'll burn you out a CD for just a little fee so here we go fourth quarter under the way here's Davidson to Baker to Sauls Looking a little weave up front. Mark going to pass it off. They get it over there to Shoplin. No good. Rebound by Randolph. But that was a good weave. Good open shot. Just couldn't get it to go. So they got a new point guard in there now. And they put Cole Jakes up at the point guard. And they are giving Levi West a very well-deserved rest. That boy is tired. Starting the fourth quarter here, Hazen on top by 24, 58 to 34. Hazen in their man-to-man -man defense. We'll see if they stick with their press after a made basket. Oh, they try to go back door lob, and they do. And that was uh, Cole Jakes. Got the ball to go. So Randolph strikes first here. Here comes Cody Davison. Put over to Martin, Shoplin, Sauls. Back to Shoplin on the baseline. Gets it here to Cody Davison. Hazen looking for some good shots. Now they got one. Baker left hand lay. Oh, couldn't get it to go. Rebound fought for in there. Controlled by Jakes. Here he comes for Randolph. They go in. Oh, picked off by Martin. Here comes Davison. Quickly up court. Davison stops. Pops. Drills it. Just wide in the elbow. Makes it 60 to 36. The Wildcats have cracked the 60 point barrier here early in the fourth quarter. Baker, Garden, Jakes, they get it in the corner. Long three, no good, short air ball. That ball by Hauser. Here comes Baker. Baker, stutter steps, backs up, fires a fadeaway three, and it's good. No, just a two ball. Give him two on that, 62-36. Baker steals the ball, has the ball again. Gets it to Martin. Martin's gonna spot up, and that's short. Partially blocked, I believe. Here comes Randolph, Jakes with the ball. Coming up court. Goes left, gets it over there to Hauser. Hauser wanted to spot up, back to Jakes. Randolph standing still, they are tired. Gets it over here to Messier. Messier guarded by Shoplin. Oh, goes right around, lays up a floater. No good, tried to get the rebound, controlled by Martin. Martin out of the back, up to Baker. Quickly up to Sauls, Sauls stops and does a nice little fadeaway step to the middle <laughs> and laid it in. Nice move there by Derek Sauls, 64-36. Just underway here in the fourth quarter. Jake's bringing it out. Hazen looking not to foul. They go inside. Nice move there. They can get it to go. The second one does go, and that's by Fritz Hauser, their big man. Hazen with not a very big lineup in there as both big men, Mitchard and Tyler Revard, are, and Carter Hill actually, are on the bench. So... So that foul was on Cole Jakes, and that's his fifth. So he has to come out. So Randolph with subs coming in. Hazen with subs. Let me see, we got Carter Hill in there now. Jaden Baker in there now. Tyson Davison's in there now with Sauls and Shoplin. So Coach Aaron Hill mixing it up a little bit. Knows he's got this one well in hand. Leading by 26, with 5.14 left to go in the game, 64-38. Baker puts it up, that's good.
Second one by Baker is good. How many has he got, James? 28. So Isaiah Baker with 28 and a great effort here. Hopefully he's he might be done for the night. 5-14 and up by 28. No need to play in him, have him get hurt. He had a little hip problem up Nenisburg last week. So they're going to rest him if they can. So in the game now we have Owen Benway for Hazen. They go inside to Hauser. They get it over there. And that is number... I don't even have him in my book. Yeah, he's not on the roster. He's not on the roster. Number three, we're going to call him. Benway picks up his dribble. It's almost picked off there. Recovered by Shoplin. Back out, back out on top to Sauls. Sauls gets it over to uh, Tyson Davidson. Oh, tried to go inside to Benway. Benway wasn't looking for it. And it's picked off. Here comes Fritz Hauser. Looking, looking, looking. Nothing there. They want to go inside. They lob it. They do. They get it into uh, second times. No good. That's Wyatt Messier, but they call a foul. So Hazen just going with a little lineup here as Coach Aaron Hill's getting everybody in. Randolph going inside now as much as they can. Halfway through the fourth quarter. This is the opening round of the Dave Morris Classic, the second game. The first game, Lemoyle won. So Hazen will face off against Lemoyle tomorrow night. And HCTV will be right here broadcasting. James is going to bring you the play-by-play. -play. Griffin will be on the camera. And probably Elizabeth or Levi will be here streaming. So we'll be all set. Makes it 66-42 now. Hazen in complete control. Tyson Davison gets it over to Jaden Baker right down the lane. Oh, nice look there. Went off his feet. Owen Benway out on top. Jaden Baker looking, looking back to Benway. Benway goes right, hands it off. Tyson Davison right down the middle, puts it up, and they're going to call him for an offensive foul. Tyson Davison, just a sophomore. As I said before, Hazen, very young. Only three seniors on the roster. So here comes Levi West for Randolph. They get over there to number three. Oh, they do. They go inside to Messier. Back out to Levi West. Drives a floater off the glass, and it's good. Cuts the lead to 22, if you want to say it that way. 66 to 44. Davison out on top. Jaden Baker hands it off. Shoplin. Owen Benway. Oh, finds a lane. Puts it up. A floater. Can't get it to go, though. Nice move. Oh, and he recovered the rebound. Baker, three ball, no good. Rebound by Sauls. Hazen playing tough in there. Tyson Davison shooting the three ball. This air ball, the rebound by Shoplin. Puts it up, so Hazen with four cracks at it. Got it to go, 68-44. No letdown in intensity for the Wildcats. And Aaron Hill wouldn't stand for that. If you're out there, you may be playing hard. Oh, fumble, oh, inside, oh. Oh, before the shot. That foul, that foul is on Shoplin. It's going to be one and one, and it's going to put Andrew Lewis to the line. And that is Shoplin's fifth, so he's going to sit for the rest of the night. Ah. So Ethan Shoplin with his fifth foul. Tyler Revard, who hasn't been in for a few minutes, he's coming in to get some game time, freshman, and he's played well tonight. No good, rebound in there, controlled by Randolph. Oh, they tried to go underneath. Uh, I don't even have a 24 in the lineup. So Randolph must have brought up a couple three players from the JV team, being no JV game tonight. Just for bodies to have. Tyson Davison, puts it over there to Revard. Jaden Baker stops, pops, puts it up, no good. Rebound by Randolph. And here comes Levi West. Randolph looking to score. They trail 68 to 44 to the Wildcats. Out on top, number three. It's all I can go by. Gets it over to West. Oh, they tried to lob it inside. Threw it to space. Nobody there. It's going to be Hazen's ball.
Rebar gets it into Sauls. Sauls walks it up. Randolph still sticking with her man to man. Well, oh, nice spin move by Sauls. Looks to see what he has. Davison, Hazen in no hurry. Oh! Threw it out of bounds almost. Recovered by Baker, but he handed it right off to Levi West. Rebound in there by Randolph. Out on top to, oh, got it to go. That is Fritz Hauser for Randolph. 68-46. Here's Tyson Davison, Owen Benway. Bounces it back out to Sauls. Under two minutes to go here. Hazen's going to be in the championship game tomorrow night against Lamoille. Should be a barn burner. Lamoille's a pretty good team. And they got some shooters and some speed, and they like to run. They go inside there to Baker. Back out to Sauls. Brings it back out, resets to Benway. Oh, he hits Tyson Davison down the middle. Puts it up, blocked. Recovered there by... Levi West bringing it up behind the back, half court over there to number three, picked off by Sauls. We got a two on one here. Let's see what happens. Bounce pass, nice by Baker, and he's fouled. Nice bounce pass there by Derek Sauls as he hit Jaden Baker, and that's going to put the freshman in the line to shoot two. Stephen Martin's going to check in for Hazen. And let me see who he's going to come in for. I bet he comes in for Derek Sauls. It's looking that way. But I have no idea. I just like to guess. <laughs> Got a 22-point ball game. Got to guess at something. Baker puts it up. Yes! I was right. You were right, John. Makes up for that mistake I made the other day. <laughs> <laughs> ah, the Hazen crowd starting to sense it here. Jackets are coming on. Baker misses a second one, 69-46. Oh, rebound by Tyler Rivard. Davison to Baker. Layup. Bang! Nice ball movement by Hazen's young people. Two freshmen and a sophomore, looking good. 71-46, they break the 70-point barrier. Randolph looking to get on the board here, but it's picked off by Rivard. Rivard gets it to a guard. Tyler Rivard really looking good tonight. Making some good decisions. Steven Martin into Rivard. Back out on top, Benway, oh, fake, stops. Foul line, has it blocked. Nice move there by Owen Benway. Oh, Randolph trying to fast break, can't keep up with the ball. So it's going to be Hazen's ball. Stephen Martin, 47 seconds left to go. Hazen in a walk away. 71-46. Going to run their record to 2-0. With a very convincing win over a Randolph team that was bigger. Tyson fakes, drives, tries to put it up. Rebound by Owen Benway. Back out to Tyler Rivard. Just content to run the clock out. But these young players want to get on the board. So we'll see what happens. Rivard brings it way out. Guarded tightly there by Hauser. Jaden Baker stop. Oh, right around everybody. Flicks it up. No good. Rebound by Tyler Rivard. He's looking good. Coach Aaron Hill says, pull it out. I want nothing. Just hold it. Looks like game, set, and match. And there's the buzzer, and that's the end of the game. And your Wildcats are going to go to the championship game of the Dave Morris Classic tomorrow night with a very convincing 71-46 to win over the Galloping Ghosts from Randolph. This is John Lucier along with James Salfus and Griffin Lucier, and they will be right back here tomorrow night to give you the broadcast. <laughs>